welcome to episode 11 of the Antonella Makes Podcast. Uh, my name is Antonella and I am coming to you from Tottenham, Ontario in Canada. Um, welcome back to any um, re- returning um, viewers and um, thank you so much for um, taking the time to hang out with me and see what I've been up to. Um, And for anyone who's new, thank you so much for stopping by um, and I hope you enjoy today's episode. So it's been a really, really long time. I'm really sorry about that. I don't know. I don't even have like a good excuse other than the fact that I feel weird podcasting. I don't know why. Um... So I am going to try my best to, um, I really like doing it. I do. I just, I don't know what it is. I, uh, maybe I'm shy, um, self-conscious. I have no idea, but it's hard for me to do this. So, um, it's hard to put myself out there, but it's fun, like communicating with you and sharing, you know, I really do enjoy it. Um, so And there is a lot going on um, in life right now, in my life right now. And so it's just a little bit hard to, um, you know, stop what I'm doing and take everything out because it is messy Um, and, you know, share with you guys. But I love doing it. So I'm really hoping that when things settle down, it just seems like the last couple of years my life has been Uh, so yeah, so I'll talk about, you know, things that have been going on at the end of the podcast because not everyone likes to, um, hear about personal stuff and I will, you know, just get into, um, the knitting and some really exciting things that are going on, um, that I'm really excited about and yeah, so, um, let's start with FOs. I have a couple, a few actually, more than two. Um, I actually just recorded a podcast and well, I started recording and after the 16 minute mark, um, the iPad died, not died, but, uh, I had no more storage. So I decided to start over, delete everything. Um, I just couldn't believe how much stuff I have saved that I don't need. So I just deleted a bunch of stuff, and uh, I have two gigabytes, so hopefully that's enough to record this podcast. Um, So, everything is kind of messy. Okay, so I have a pair of socks that I started knitting last December, so 2016. These are my Christmas socks. Um, It's just a plain vanilla sock. I always, I try to do a two-inch cuff two by two rib and um I have partridge heel I should have put these on sock blockers I am so sorry I did not think about that but um this is uh yarn from Woolberry Fiber Co in her I believe it's I saw mommy mommy kissing Santa Claus but I'm not 100% sure and I don't have the tag so um but I believe that's what this colorway is and I love it so much it's not a crazy green. Um, it's very, very muted, and I like that. And it's got beautiful speckles. Um, so yeah, Bethany did a really, really good job. And I was really excited when I ordered this yarn. Um, and yeah, it's just super beautiful. And the other exciting thing about Christmas and yarn is that I ordered for the first time my very first advent calendar. I did that yesterday. Um, I did that yesterday and I actually ordered from Woolberry Fiber Co. Um, and I'm really excited. I'm so excited. So anyway, um, pair of socks. And then I finished my little boxy. Well, I have to weave in the ends. I finished it such a long time ago. I have not blocked it. I haven't woven in the ends. Um, and I need to hustle because uh, my niece is probably going to be able to wear this soon because it's 
like it's like the middle of August, so fall is fast approaching. Um, I'm really excited about that. I love autumn. It's my absolute favorite month. Um, month. <laughs> a season. I wish that every the entire year would be could be fall. I, I would love an entire I would love every day to be fall or autumn. I love it. It's it's just perfect. It's perfect weather because, you know, you're, you can be comfortable wearing layers, um, just a cardigan. Um, you don't need to wear a parka or a big winter coat. Um, it doesn't snow, although I do really like the snow. I just didn't like it last year because I had to drive in it. But anyway, or this year as well. Um, so, yes, the little boxy. Um... I totally digressed over there. Sorry, guys. Um, little boxy um, for my niece. And I used um, Sweet Sparrow yarn in her Magpie base, which is her 75 Merino 20 Nylon and 5 Gold Stellina. And I ended up um, running out of yarn. And I just used Gregoria fibers. Um, this is her cashmere sock. And I don't have the complete um, fiber breakdown because uh, I don't have the tag on me, but it's cashmere and um, merino and nylon. And it is dyed botanically. It's magic. I love it. I love Anna stuff. She's um, one of my favorite dyers. Yeah, so. I tried this on Emma not too long ago, and this was a little bit tight uh, to go around her head, so I'm hoping that when I block it, it stretches a little because she has earrings and I don't want them to get snagged. So I'm really hoping um, this will fit her. But I forgot to mention actually that you can find me on Ravelry as Antonella Makes. Um, podcast is Antonella Makes, but I changed my Instagram name to Cozy Posy Yarn Co. And I'll put that down below and I'll talk about why later. So if you're looking for me on Instagram, that's how you will find me. Um, and we have an Antonella Makes podcast group. So if you want to join, please head on over. Um, there's some really lovely um, group members and we haven't been as active, but I'm um, hoping that we can um, be active again. The other thing that I have finished is my Margaretha shawl. Um, did I say that this pattern is the Little Boxy by Hohi Locatelli? Sorry, if I forgot to mention that. I can't remember. Okay, so um, Margaretha shawl by Helen Zeckner. It's such a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful pattern. The shawl's so pretty. Um, and I really did enjoy knitting it. And I used Gregoria fibers in her cashmere sock. Um, and I I don't know that this um, yarn actually had a name. It may have had a name. And I'm, pr I, if, I'm thinking that it was Sunny Days. Um, but Anna, you know, usually has these colors in her shop, and they're so beautiful. I love Anna's yarn. She is amazing. She's a magician. And again, like, all her stuff is dyed naturally, botanically, and it's just amazing what she can do. Like, look at those speckles. Gorgeous. And I love this shawl so much. It's, like, the perfect amount of, like, you know, um, it's just so feminine, and it's just so, it's so pretty, and the yarn is just so pretty, too, I love it, this is probably going to be, like, a staple for fall, <laughs> um, and I can wear pink anytime, I don't really care, because I love pink, if you follow me on Instagram, or Ravelry, follow along here, um, on the podcast, you will know that I love pink yarn, I, I think everything that I knit is pink, but, not really. Um, okay, so that's it for FOs. I know. <laughs> I should have more, but I don't. So, whips. Um, 
I am knitting this sock uh, using an opal yarn. This is the Little Prince um, line, and I believe this one is the Fox. And I mean, I was so excited when I saw these, um, this line. And I'm probably still really excited about it, but I'm not, if that makes any sense. I am really bored, so I think I'm just going to finish because I'm on the decrease of the toe. Um, this is an afterthought heel, uh, so I just basically knit a 2 inch 2x2 um, two two cuff, 2x2 um, two two rib cuff, and I just knit until I put in the heel which is right here and then I knit about six and a half inches and then that's when I start to decrease for the toe so that's basically how I do my um, after that heel sucks and it works for me um, so I think I might just finish this and then I don't know I have a feeling I might have second sock syndrome here I've never had it before it's just probably because I there's so many things that I want to knit um, yeah. Anyway, so we'll see. Oh, and this really cute Progress Keeper is from Jewels of So Sweet Violet. I'm so pretty. I love it. Um, so that's that. And the other thing I'm working on is um, something for Emma. So I'm knitting the... Um, Sproutlet dress, uh, pattern is by Tannis Fiber Arts, and so the original pattern has a lace um, panel right here, and it's like, it's really pretty, it's like, I think it's three leaves, but I, I left that out, um, I don't know, because leaves remind me of autumn, and I just feel like this is something that she can wear whenever. Yeah, so, and then I really love the back. I love the back of this dress. I've knit, I think I've knit like three of these. Um, so it's so cute. It's got this cute little opening with a button band right here. And I am used, so for the top, I used um, Sweet Sparrow yarn in her Magpie base. So it's her 75 um, Merino, 20 Nylon, and 5 Gold Stellina. And that's her... Um, sweet Rhyme colorway, and then this here is um, a homespun house in her Stellina, um, which is 75 merino, 20 nylon, and 5 gold Stellina, and I believe this colorway is called um, Carnival. Yeah, so that should be really pretty when it's done, hopefully soon. I started knitting on it again yesterday, so I, I'm going to push myself to finish it because I really do want her to wear it. And I believe I'm knitting the one-year-old size, um, which I don't think will fit her until maybe the end of the year. Uh, she's she's tall, actually, so that, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. So, yeah, I got to get moving on that sweater, too. I need to block it and give it to her. <laughs> And this is in my lovely Tilda bag that was made by my friend Vibeck's mom. Um, and it's, I love it so much. I love it. So it's Tilda fabric. Um, the other thing I'm working on is, what do I have in here? Um, my Lena T, which is, I don't remember. Who the, I think it's Carrie Bostic Hogue. I don't know. I could be wrong. But if I am, I'll, I'll put um, the information down below. So this is um, Quince & Co. in uh, the Sparrow 100% um, Linen in the Nanny Berry colorway. And I love the color color so much. I'm not enjoying this knit, and I don't know why. I don't know if it's maybe because I'm not crazy about the linen. I really don't like the stitch definition. It seems so messy. And it's probably just the linen. I'm pretty sure it is the linen, and when I block it out, I've heard 
it'll even out and it'll look really pretty. Um, but I also think it's taken me so long to knit this. I don't know why. I don't even remember when I started it. I, I'm pretty sure I was knitting it the last time I podcasted, which was in June. So I was really excited to have this done for the summertime so I could wear it. But now that summer's almost over, I don't want to knit on it anymore. And I think that's what it is. So I may actually put this aside until next spring, which is totally fine. You know, um, it's not a big deal. I just don't know if I can accept that. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so we'll figure that out. I'm really flighty lately. I change my mind so frequently, so quickly, so easily. Um, so I don't know. I'm, I might just change my mind and knit on it. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, so I said, yeah. And the other thing I'm working on, which I'm really excited about actually, um, are these socks. And these are the um, favorite socks by Emily Foden, who is the um, indie diary behind Viola Yarns. Um, and I really like this pattern. Um, it's just so cute. Uh, anyway, it is a paid for pattern. So if you guys are interested, because look at it, look, just look at how cool that looks. I think it looks so awesome. And this is actually my yarn. Um, which I'll talk about after, but this is Cozy Posy Yarn Co. Um, it's my um, Cozy Posy Classic Sock Base, 75 um, Merino, 25 Nylon, and it is the Stardust colorway, and I love it. It is so cool. I'm really, really, really into um, jewel tones lately, and yeah, I love this yarn so much. I love the colorway. And I really love the base. Um, I, I said it was superwash uh, merino, but it's actually superwash wool. So, I mean, it's 75% superwash wool. Um, I really like it. So, yeah, I'm so excited about this. I think it's just um, the combination of the yarn and the pattern. And I think that this is now my favorite sock pattern so I think I might be knitting many many socks in um, using this pattern so I'm really excited about that and if you go on Ravelry and you search for the pattern um, you'll see that they're so quirky and cute like the you know the cuffs are different from the heel and the toe and they're slouchy and cozy and I'm really excited about this pattern so I think that's it. Um, I do have other things on the needle like my quill, but that's taking a bit of a break. And I think I will actually pick it up um, soon. I actually will pick it up soon because I think it's a, a really cozy um, shawl. And with um, autumn approaching, it'll be nice to knit on. Um, yeah, so... The other thing I wanted to talk about um, before I show you things that I've received in the mail um, is a, a knit along that I'd like to host, um, a sweater cowl for um, autumn and I'm thinking that we would start it in the middle of September or we could start it at the end of uh, September, uh, beginning of October. Um, let me know if any of you are interested in a sweater cowl and I will hook that up and I'll have lovely prizes because now I'm making like things and I would be happy to donate a few things. Yeah. So, um, things that I've received in the mail. So my lovely friend, Laura, who is Laura A. Darby on Instagram and Laura 88N on Ravelry um, sent me a canopy shawl because I lost mine. So, um, yeah. How gorgeous is this? I love it. She asked me if I was going to dye it, but I don't think that I will because I actually really like, um, I like natural colored 
um, accessories and garments as well as pink. <laughs> I was thinking about dyeing it with avocado, but I don't think that I'll do that. I think I'll just leave it as it is. Um, it's so pretty and so thoughtful of Laura. Thank you so much, Laura. I have the most amazing friends. And the other thing she sent me uh, is this yarn. Um, it's Camila Fiber Co. And it is in um, the Sherbet colorway. It's a Merino Sport. It's 100% Merino wool and it's 325 yards. And it's so pretty. And I really love that color. So yeah, that was really nice. It was a really nice surprise, actually. Yeah. Um, and then the other things that I... So I purchased for the first time some Knox yarn. Um, I know, it's you know, it's such a gloomy day, and it's kind of bright. It's blowing this out. Uh -huh. This is in her beautiful monster colorway, and it's her Venus sock, which is an 80 percent superwash merino wool, 10% cashmere, and 10% nylon. It's three ply, 100 grams, 380 yards, and it's so pretty. Um, I don't know, can you? Yeah, it's like, it's, it's really, 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 really pretty. So I was thinking of actually using this in my pangono when I finally knit it. I have my basket with all my pangono yarn in it, and I just, I'm so slow. I'm such a slow knitter. I don't understand why I'm so slow. It's probably because I get distracted, easily distracted. Um, just with things going on right now, I'm like always looking for certain things, and I love that. I love that so much. So yeah, if you haven't had a chance to check out um, Knox Yarn, Danielle is really, really good, really amazing at what she does, and um, it's it's just so pretty. It's such a pretty color. And finally, I got a skein of Woolen Boon, and this is the Buffy colorway. Of course, I don't get Buffy because I love Buffy. Look at how pretty this is. It's like a peach tonal with gorgeous speckles, like brown and... Crazy, crazy speckles. Sonia is a speckling genius, I think. So this is really beautiful. And it's on her Boone Classic 4-ply fingering, 100% superwash merino. And it's gorgeous. My nose is... I just hope I don't sneeze. And a couple... Maybe a couple of weeks ago, I went to Newmarket, Ontario. Um... I think the shop was called Unwind, and I got this lovely local yarn. It's um, it's by it's called Lizzie and Yarns, and this is berries and cream, and vintage rose uh, heel. So it's sorry for the noise. So it's um, it's a sock with the uh, mini for the um, cuff heel toe whatever, cuff heel toe cuff heel toe yeah. It's really pretty. So I'm really excited to actually knit the favorite sock pattern with this yarn. I'm, yeah, so super excited. It's really pretty. So, um, yeah, and she's really close, too. I believe, um, I think she said she was from Uxbridge. I'm not sure, but I'm really excited about this. And then the other thing I received in the mail... This is beautiful notions pouch from my lovely friend Jules, who spoils me all the time with tea and gorgeous, gorgeous stitch markers, which are not in here. And of course, this lovely tape. Um, and I showed you the progress paper that was on um, one of my projects. This is so cute. Um, Jules is having a shop update next Friday. I am so excited. I need to snag one of her rainbow drawstring bags um, or one of her uh, embroidered bear bags. Like what? Did you guys see them? She posted. She's been posting them on Instagram. <laughs> oh my god. They're so cute. So yeah, I, uh, 
I need to snag something from Jules. Okay, so is that it? Yeah. So that's it for um, knitting stuff. Now I'm going to talk about really exciting things. Um, so I don't know if the last episode I talked about um, how I started dyeing yarn. And I did. I started dyeing yarn and I started a company. I'm really excited. I actually had my first shop update um not this sunday but the last sun but last sunday and i just recently i think on saturday so this past saturday so today is i believe wednesday august 16th um so on saturday i updated the shop with a couple of things and i'm going to show you what i have in the shop right now i've sold out of a few things but i still have some stuff um and i ran out of yarn so i actually just got a shipment in today so the name of the company, I'm really excited. Um, I'm really excited, you guys. And I have a little sign, just in case like, I have a little trunk show or whatnot. I know it's backwards. I hope I can like rectify that somehow, but it's Cozy Posy Yarn Co. Um, yeah. So um, I've been experimenting with um, different bases. And I think I've narrowed it down. So I'm going to carry um, a 100% superwash merino four ply fingering, um, a 75 25 superwash merino nylon uh, four ply fingering, um, a gorgeous, gorgeous 80% machine washable, certified organic um, wool, 20% nylon, so it's a sock yarn, and um, um, merino mohair, merino mohair, nylon, um, I think it's a four ply, I'm not sure, but it's a fingering weight yarn, it's, uh, for socks, or for whatever you want. So, yeah, that didn't actually work, um, I only got, like, 29 minutes, but I am now ready to go, hopefully I have another 29 minutes. So, um, I was just gonna say that I, um, so I ran out of yarn and I uh, put in a new order. I'm still waiting for some stuff to come in, but I got this, I'm so excited. I think, um, I'm really hoping to have this as a regular base. So it's, um, it's a cashmere merino and gold stellina. I don't think you, I don't know if you can see it. Uh, it's so beautiful and soft. So I'm so excited to work with this yarn. Um, I love working with cashmere because I feel like the, the dye is just so pretty. Um, it, it just works so beautifully with the cashmere and I love Stelina. So I was debating between like this and a sock yarn with gold Stelina in it, but I'm thinking I'm gonna try this out and see how it goes. Um, I hope you guys like it. Um, I'm sorry, my chair is like totally squeaking right now and it's so bright all of a sudden. Anyway, so, um, yeah, so that's why I changed my name on Instagram because I just, I thought it would be, um, easier, um, to just, you know, continue doing what I usually do and, you know, sharing my knitting adventures, but also my... Um, my yarn dyeing adventures. Um, I don't know. Maybe I will change the name of the podcast. Why not? I mean, um, it's not a big deal. Cozy Posy Yarn Co. or Cozy Posy Yarn is is a really cute, fun name anyway. So I, I think I might do that. Um, maybe I'll do that. Uh, we'll see. And... And I guess it just depends on what happens, uh, whether I change the name of the Ravelry group. But I do have a, um, I do have a thread open for Cozy Posy Yarn Co. And I do post um, photographs of yarn that I've been dyeing. Um, yeah. So uh, the other thing that I want to do um, with this little company or this little business 
is um, make and sew bags. So this actually is inspired, this, um, this tote is inspired by my friend Vibeck. She'd asked me to um, put something together for her and um, I really loved it. So I just thought, um, why don't I just offer it in the shop because it's really cute. Uh, it's, um, I think I'm going to call it a quirky knitting tote because it is a bit quirky in that the handles are placed, um, on the side of the tote instead of the, f like the front of the tote, um, which is usually typical of a tote, right? Um, but I thought it would be easier to, um, just use as a knitting bag because if you fill it up uh, with your yarn, it should, you know, stand up um, upright, and you can just use it as a little knitting bucket. So I really love it, and you know how much I love fabric and love working with fabric and pretty fabric. So um, yeah, I did have some um, project bags in my first shop um, update. Um, and those were all, those all sold out. And I mean, if you guys prefer like project bags, um, let me know and I will definitely make more of those too. But I definitely want to make these knitting totes because I think they're really cute. And I don't know, I just, I'm, I'm really taken by this, uh, this little tote. And I, it's funny though, because I actually took this to, um, the mall with me the other day. Like my husband and I went to the mall because I needed to pick up some David's tea and I wanted to knit in the car so I just took this along with me and I put my wallet in there and I brought it into the um, shop with me and then when we sat and we had something to eat I uh, I was knitting so yeah uh, um, I really like it I think it's a really convenient little thing and it's fun I love the fabric and it'll be it's different on the inside um, but yeah, let me know if you guys prefer um, project bags. Um, I can make those as well. Um, so, stuff that I have in the shop right now. I have um, Stardust in 75% um, wool and 25% nylon. And it's really pretty. It's, it's a lot of jewel tones. Um, yeah, and I'll put the link to my Etsy shop below as well, and I'll put it in um, the little blurb. And I have Stardust on, um, this is 100% Superwash Polworth, New Zealand Polworth, and it's really lovely. Um, again, like, super gorgeous. I just, I don't like this lighting, I'm so sorry. Um, I have four of those because one of them was purchased this morning. I was thinking about knitting um, a featherweight out of this colorway. But again, super flighty these days. Don't know whether I'm coming or going. So I don't know. I'll see. I just want to work on some of the stuff that I already have. And if anything, maybe what I'll do is for our sweater cowl, I'll um, knit this. Although there's just there's so many things I want to knit. I'm just thinking about the um, Durham Gilead that I have for um, the Wolf River sweater that I really wanted to knit. Ugh, just not enough time. So, yep, Stardust. And then I have um, Woodland. I love this colorway. It's so pretty. So this is on 100% Superwash um, Merino. And I just wanted to show you guys so gorgeous. So it's just, there is shades of green with um, brown speckling. It's really pretty. And, oh, this is my favorite. Oh, I love this colorway. I'm so happy that it's repeatable. So I had a giveaway on Instagram, and this is Rainbow Bright. Um, and this is on my 75, um, 25 classic sock. And really pretty. It's got purples and blues and teals and yellow and orange. It's just really beautiful. I love it. So I have two of these in the shop 
And then I have um, a pocket full of posies, and this is on a non superwash base, and it's really gorgeous. And I'm so sorry, the light is just so bad. But it's just a it's very, like the pinks are super muted, very, very light, just really pretty. So I have two of those. Okay, so I move the camera a little bit. Let's see if this makes a difference. Um, so yeah, so this is um, strawberry wine on 100% superwash merino. And I have four of these in the shop. Oops, there I go. So that's really pretty. And then I have this one. So this is, um, again, 100% 100% uh, Surbosh um, New Zealand Polworth. And it's a four-ply fingering, by the way. Same with the Stardust. And this is, it's a peach. I had some other lovely things, but they sold out. And that's super exciting for me. And um, whatever sold out, I will have more of um, when I, um, just put stuff into my shop. So I'm not going to have like regular updates. I don't think that I'm going to do that. I think what I'm going to do is just update, um, the shop as I have inventory and, um, yeah. And then I'll just let you guys know that I've popped some stuff into the shop and you guys can go and take a look and decide if you want anything. Um, so that is so exciting for me. Um, as you guys know, um, if you're a returning viewer, I lost my job in May and um, I haven't been able to find anything, which is a little bit stressful. So I just thought maybe, you know, I'd give this a go because I've been thinking about it for forever and I just never had the time um, to invest. And now that I do, I thought that... Um, it would help, you know, uh, just financially, <laughs> um, to be doing something, um, and, you know, while I'm looking for a job. Um, the other thing is, is that we are selling our house. Um, we bought a house and it's conditional upon the sale of this house though. So what we have until August 31st and the house that we bought is so cute. It's us. This house here is so beautiful. It's such a beautiful house. It has really high ceilings and very big windows, tons of space, but we're two people and Jackson, and we really don't need that much space. So the house that we um, are hoping to get is a little bit smaller. It's got a really big um, backyard and lot. And it has a basement apartment, which is really awesome because I can actually dye yarn down there and use it as my little studio. Um, so it has a kitchen. It has a. It has two kitchens, and it would just be ideal. And it like walks out into the backyard, and it has just such a beautiful view of the backyard. And there's trees, and it's just so lovely. And so, cross your fingers for me, you guys. I I just really want this to work out. And I mean, um, that would be also be really helpful with uh, the fact that I don't have a job. <laughs> um, yeah, so um, yeah, so I just thought this would be a really um, interesting adventure. And it's super exciting. And I love it. I love it so much. Um, it brings me a lot of joy. I love working with color. And I think it's just because I really love making things. Um, I just, I feel a sense of um, accomplishment. I almost forgot what I, what the, I forgot the word. Um, yeah, so, yeah, so that's what's going on. Um, that's why I guess, you know, um, it's taken me a really long time to, uh, to put out this episode and for the reasons I spoke about earlier in the podcast. So, um, yeah, that's, that's it. I think I'm actually done. I, uh, yeah. So if you guys want to get a hold of me, um, just come on over to the Ravelry group or Ravelry. Send me a note on Ravelry. Again, I'm Antonella Makes on Ravelry. Um, 
And, you know, if there's anything that you guys uh, want to see or um, if you're interested in the sweater cal, um, even like if, you know, I, whatever you guys want to talk to me about, I'm, I'm there. Um, I'm totally rambling right now and making absolutely no sense. But anyways, you guys can find me on IG as Cozy Posy Yarn Co. And Tanella Makes on Ravelry. And, um, yeah. Um, and we have a Ravelry group, the Antonella Podcast Ravelry group. Come and join. Um, and yeah, it was just such a pleasure to hang out with you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you, um, you know, for just coming back and hanging out with me for all of your support. To anyone who has purchased yarn or even taken a look at the Etsy shop, thank you so much. Like, you have no idea. I'm an emotional bird. You have no idea how much it means to me. It means a lot. So, thank you. And I don't know where the waterworks are coming from. I'm really sorry. Uh, I... I love you guys. So, um, yeah, keep in touch and I will try to be back soon. Um, yeah, thank you. Bye.